Ah, hello. Today I'm making a savoury side dish for a light family supper. I'm making almond and potato pudding. For this recipe you will need potato, almonds, milk, lemon, butter, nutmeg, and eggs. I'm going to start by mashing my potatoes. You can use any mealy potato, not a salad potato. And this recipe is ideal for using up potatoes that have already been boiled or baked, have been left over. You need to make your potato a nice dry flour. Potatoes are very cheap and very good for you. They're very popular with this family. I've asked Annie Chase to prepare the almonds. It's quite time consuming to blanch, peel and then pound the almonds. And we use so many of them that it would be too expensive to buy them already done. I'm now going to mash these together with the butter, lemon zest, and lemon juice. Ooh. And the milk, which needs to be boiling. My egg yolks, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of nutmeg. I found this recipe in a book written by a Welsh lady, intended for those of the middle classes who were seeking elegant economy. After all, with the bad harvests, I think everyone's seeking a little economy. I'm now going to whisk the egg whites. Potatoes make wonderful puddings. I recently found one using the orange potatoes, the sweet ones. That was for a sweet pudding. I have a mind to make it, but I wonder if it's a bit old fashioned. This is a really nice pudding. Best served with fowl or tomato sauce. You can put it in a pastry or a plain loaf tin, but I'm going to put it in this mould. I've already greased it and I just want to put it in very gently to keep the air in. It now needs to go into the oven, a moderate oven, for about an hour. I've let the pudding cool a little. You can serve this dish either hot or cold. 
I'm going to serve it on a doily. I think doilies are very useful. They stop the dish sliding about. I'm now going to decorate it with lemons and slices of almonds. and some pansies and a little asparagus fern There you are, almond and potato pudding the perfect winter side dish